Uh, in the studio with us right now, we have Sedona Mayor Rob Adams. How are you? I just I wanted to comment on that trash talking that was just going on. I, I noticed that uh, those uh, firemen's uh, vehicle was being towed off and they were being cuffed as they left the building. So uh, they may not be at that game. Well, that's one advantage is the, that they can take because uh, it gives the police a higher edge. <laughs> Actually, we're uh, changing our hiring standards on the police department. You have to be 6'5 and weigh 280. Well, and, and you know what? I think that's what we need because uh, Commander Wheeler has always been saying that they've been letting him win, letting him win, but now with all this talk that's 25 points are guaranteeing, we need to keep it back. I think uh, Commander Wheeler ought to be able to sit on somebody's shoulders myself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's not short. He's just vertically challenged, but he's a really <laughs> nice guy. Um, I want to thank you very much for coming on the show. My pleasure. All seriousness. Now, the buzz around here is uh, City Manager Eric Lovett. Yes. Uh, Eric is, uh, has accepted a, uh, another job. Um, it, it isn't final. Uh, they, they need to do a background check on him. They will be coming into the city and, and uh, interviewing um, people on the council and the city staff. Uh, but, you know, there's no question in my mind that Eric's going to pass that with flying colors. Uh, so we're anticipating uh, Eric actually leaving probably the 1st of December. And uh, we had two different meetings today. Uh, we're getting right on this issue. Uh, I'm calling for a special uh, council session uh, next Wednesday so the council can talk about um, what, our, what our strategy is going to be on replacing Eric. Well, and... He's been in this community for uh, for quite some time. Yeah. Eric, uh, I believe he's worked here about 12 years now. And I think average, believe it or not, for a city manager is somewhere around four to five years. And so Eric's been here for quite a while. Um, his his move is due to uh, uh, a number of reasons. It's, it's certainly nothing personal. Um, he's going to be working for a larger uh, city. Uh, it's an upward move for him, and uh, he's also a, very much of a uh, ice hockey f fan, as you know, and his son is involved in that. And he was telling me that there's a, a hockey rink about four blocks away from the city hall where he's going in yeah. Wisconsin. So, Well, here, uh, when he was talking about hockey, I told him that he was skating on thin ice as it was. <laughs> <laughs> now, we only have a couple of minutes left. Um, I want to talk about, uh, I've been reading the news, and there's been a woman petitioning, of course, um, regarding the, the lights. And I just want to put an end to all rumors. Why don't we discuss that a little bit? Well, um, there are rumors that the city quashed that. But actually what happened with the referendum was, uh, and, and this is as I understand it from our city attorney, um, a referendum needs to be based on overturning a law or an, or an ordinance. And uh, this the action of the lights is simply a recommendation that city council gave a dot so you know it's it's just not a referendumable referendumable right uh issue uh, and i i think the unfortunate thing is is that uh you know probably a lot of effort was spent on the referendum that could have been that effort could have been saved if they would have gotten legal advice on that to find out exactly how you needed to initiate that well those of you who are listening you know it's not really the city's fault or to blame this woman had a great idea and a great vision it just wasn't followed through properly right i i fully support the referendum process and what they were trying to accomplish uh, you know and, and there was really there's no objection on the city's part it's simply a, a legal issue right lights on but nobody's home no nobody's home you know and you have to check and make sure that you, you know particularly in something like this that you have all your i's dotted and your t's crossed uh, when you move forward well you heard it here that was mayor rob adams i want to thank you very much for being on the show my pleasure as we'll always. we'll see you again next month of course okay you're always welcome thanks Alan. uh we're going to be taking a commercial break and when we come back we're going to be having John Bradshaw, owner of Sedona Day in the West. So we'll be right back, and thank you very much. Mm -hmm.